Snow on the weekend, but it was sure nice to see that sunshine this morning, Natasha. Finally, finally, we get to a full dry week. Of course, there's going to be a price to pay whenever we have high pressure in charge during the winter time and winds are calm. Guess what? That is a nice little recipe for some cloudy skies ahead. So to explain this further in a very creative way, I might add, Josh Cozart, our meteorologist here, is going to explain a little bit more in detail about what's going on this week. Take a look. On a typical day, warmer temperatures are found near the surface. As you go up in elevation, the air gets much colder. That's why it's no surprise that we see snow on top of our highest mountain peaks. But as warm air likes to rise and cold air likes to sink, it allows for our atmosphere to get all mixed up. However, this week we're expecting high pressure to settle its way back into the Pacific Northwest. That can flip the temperature profile that we would typically see, meaning that the cold air is now near the surface and warm air still remains aloft. Now, you got to remember that the cold air likes to sink and warm air likes to rise. So with this profile, we're not seeing any mixing in the atmosphere. That allows for that cold air near the surface to cool and condense the available moisture, creating the layer of fog but it can also trap pollutants. Ah, yes, trapping pollutants, which is one of the reasons why I thank you, by the way, Josh. Good job on that air stagnation advisory. Oh, 